So this is the first time that I'm returning to this project in, I want to say, four months. Let me check. Yeah, December 6th, so about four months. And I'm just going to see... I remember that I was on the development branch, and I think that's the same as this current one. And the last... Last couple of changes were converting to TypeScript. Let's see how long that took. So I extracted a constant December 6th, 1030, 49, 1127, 1219, 1227, 1317. So about three hours to, to make sure that it was actually converted. Let me see if I can get more history. Does that get tab nine? Okay, let's see how much has changed. Uh, so running ESLint with the fix option is just to change the really easy, quick fixes, like in this case, changing let to const when it could be, which I appreciate. I think, honestly, that's probably most of the changes that were made um, automatically. There were a lot. Oh, uh, yeah. And then I was keeping track of the changes that I made. ESLint results, JSON. So yeah, this is pretty interesting. It's mostly, int uh, mostly just kind of like a fun fact. changing some import module resolution stuff. Changing the file extensions wasn't that difficult, surprisingly. Um, I don't remember exactly how I did that. I think there is some sort of script that I found. I think that I used find and then rename somehow. I'm not, I don't often use bash functions. And so I usually just keep them in my mind for as long as I need them. Is there anything unusual about this? No, I think that I literally just changed the file extensions with this commit. I like the idea of having relatively discrete commits, I don't always do it. But in this one, I was only trying to, or in that commit, I was only trying to change the tensions. So yeah, that actually wasn't bad. Converting to TypeScript wasn't very difficult. And in this case, I just changed the port So let's see if we can get this running by running the watch script. So this is going to compile the source folder and the serve script is going to serve it. Interesting. Are these errors like bad? Yeah, I have a decent amount of errors to work on. So 
So this is what it currently looks like. If the actual token parses, then it'll output this green, but if it doesn't, if there's some sort of error, like let's include a character that I don't think I have a handler for yet. Try to parse that. It's gonna give an error. I'm not sure if it's going to. So the step function doesn't work anymore. Play does. And it outputs the tokens until we get to the error, but it doesn't actually output the error. Let's see if there's anything that's said about what the step function is actually doing. Step, no. Does that work? That's an interesting one. So something about the step function isn't doing the thing that we're trying to have it do at all. And that's partially because I didn't really design this to um, do the stuff that I expected it would need to. There's this class called parser dom svg, which takes an svg and then draws Where are the event handlers? Inside. Parser DOM. So I think I used to be I used to use this class to initialize the buttons. I'm not sure why I'm not anymore. Where is this used? It's been a while since I've actually looked at this. Index. So app.mjs, we're looking at the output. Of this file. Parser DOM, new parser DOM, out runtime web app.mjs. So the reason the MTS file is not being picked up as being used is because it literally isn't being used. I'm not entirely sure how to get that mapping associated properly. I think in that case it would be by using the bundler. Anyways, this is kind of okay. Um, there are a few things that it takes for granted. And I'm not necessarily going to get into right now. It would take a little bit of effort to specifically go through and, and change the things that I believe are wrong. I'd rather refactor this entirely to um, be a bit clearer. This requires a lot of context for you to assume, not necessarily assume, but you have to interpret the context of this file while you're changing it and understand the reasons why certain things are where they are. I don't think there are any comments. Let me see if I have any comments. So honestly, I think the only comments that exist are in the, there are like three comments. Not even. There's, I think I have one comment. So that's kind of interesting. Um, let me mark this directory as excluded. Mark this directory as excluded. And also change the tree appearance to hide excluded files. And then 
do a search. Yeah, I have literally one comment in the code base. Join with the token find. That's not even a good comment, so I'm going to delete that. And I'm also going to look into the issue where parser DOM isn't actually used in any literal sense because, well, okay. I need to look into, what am I using, ES build? No, TSC. So I need to look into the build options and update those before I, I continue. The only dependency that I have right now is serve. Is this in a good order? So minimal dependencies, which I appreciate, but let's see if a bundler would be a good addition. <laughs> 